started. So tonight, without further ado, let me welcome our guest tonight. Welcome back to Elder Ronnie. And welcome back, Pastor Matheson Privil. Gentlemen, good evening. Good to have you here. Good evening, Elder. It's Ella. wonderful to be back. It's good to be here. Good, 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 good. Gentlemen, we are already in week number three. Can you imagine three. that? Oh, yes. Certainly. Yes. <laughs> time, flies, it? time eh? flies when you're having fun. Well, yes, and, yeah. and, and time flies and why souls have been won for the kingdom of God. Pass, Amen. how was your day? Uh, my day was very productive. Um, ex I exercised a bit. I was in my little garden. Okay. I did some, some spraying, some cleaning of, of, of um, some weed and stuff. So it was very fruitful and very productive. All right, good to know. So, Pass, I know um, at Cast Streets we are encouraging members to have a kitchen garden. And of course, Eloroni, you are very much an integral part of that, you know, uh, whereby we don't only preach the gospel, but we also live the gospel in health and in food. Pastor um, Eloroni, can you just tell us something about, about your garden? Well, again, it, uh, like you said, it is something that um, we encourage all our members to do, to share, to, well, to grow and to share um, what, we, what we produce. Um, so wherever, where, whoever you are, um, once you have a little, a little space, we work with the space and we, we would encourage you to, you know, plant something. And at the end of the day, it helps you. Um, it helps friends, it helps family, it helps those who are in need when you could, you know, share a little. Amen. So we encourage everyone to share. The same way we share the links, we share um, whatever we have to better the lives of, you know, everyone. So for folks, we can that the gospel is holistic. It involves the total being, you know, um, from heaven to earth. And tonight, gentlemen... Mm -hmm. Of course, we are continue planting the word of God. Amen. The seed is, is being planted and watered, and night after night, we have been enjoying the sermons. Um, yesterday, and we seen that God, Go ahead. God is giving the increase. I just wanted to put that in there. <laughs> indeed, <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So, so, pass as we are about to um, commence. Can you give us a word of prayer as we go any further? Let us pray. Our kind and eternal Father, we are grateful for the privilege of discussing your word tonight. We thank you for this Karu campaign that has touched and transformed so many lives. We thank you for the new converts, those who got baptized yesterday and those who got baptized last Sabbath. We ask your blessings upon them. We ask that you will sustain and empower them. Bless us tonight in our deliberations. Bless every viewer, every listener. And let your name be exalted and magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Gentlemen, amen. yesterday we, we had another wonderful message from the evangelist, Dr. Morgan. And um, what a title, The Paradox of the Cross. And so this evening we want to examine just that. So here we go into our first clip, The Paradox of the Cross. Everybody, I know I can't hear you, but, but the Lord hears. Come on, say it, everybody. After two, one, two. What's our topic today? The paradox of the cross of Christ. The paradox of the cross of Christ. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the New Testament is made up of three main genres. Yes, three. How many main genres, reader? Three. Three. You have narrative or story. Yes. You have letters or epistles. Mm -hmm. And you have visions or apocalypse. Apocalypse. Mm? Mm -hmm. Yes. And all three of these tend to be literary. Tend to be what? Literary. Come on, say the thing. Tend to be what? Literary. Literary rather than expository in nature. Yes. Well, let me say here to my friends listening to me here today. The New Testament presents four main classifications. How many classifications? Four main classifications. And they are what, reader? They are what? The gospel. Yes, please. Acts. Uh -huh. The epistles. I tell you. And, and what else? Revelation. And the revelation. Yes. 
Now, my friends, listen, please. The Gospels mingle history and story and drama. And what else, reader? Oratory. Oratory. And proverbs. And what else? And parables. And what else? And poetry. And poetry. Yes. That's what my wife loves, the poetry. Mm -hmm. One thing that stands out is the cross of Christ. Amen. Come amen. on, somebody say amen. Yes. amen. I say one thing that stands out, boy, is the cross of Christ. Another thing that stands out is the sacrifice of Christ. Yes. And the thing that stands out that from the Apostle Paul, the crucified Savior, was the central feature of the gospel. Yes, right. preacher. That's right. mm -hmm. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 1, verses 23 and 24. Come on, reader. What it says here? It says, but we keep right on preaching Christ crucified. The Jews are offended because they still look for the Messiah. Yes, please. And the Greeks think God dying on the cross is nonsense. And the Bible says in, in, in verse 24, but for those, don't miss it, don't watch the contrast now. But for those who have what? Responded. My sinner man, man. Mm -hmm. it's talking about those of you who will respond today. Yes. Those of you who will give your life to Christ. Yes. Those of you who will get baptized. But for those who have responded, responded to God's call. Read it, mm -hmm. read it. Whether they are Jews or Greeks, the crucified and risen Christ is the power of and wisdom of God. Come on, somebody say, man, yeah. many today who do not believe mm -hmm. that his death was the ultimate sacrifice for human sin. Mm -hmm. I listened to the tour guide while we were in Jerusalem, and they believed that he was a good man. A good man, preacher. A great teacher. Mm -hmm. A great teacher. Are you listen to me here, you yes. all listen. A moral man. Yes. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, the Jews who are not converted Christians do not believe and accept that Jesus is the Lord Christ. He was despised and rejected by mankind. Yes, please. A man of suffering mm. and familiar with pain. Oh Lord, read your hit on it today, man. Hit it again. What it says in verse 4? Surely, yeah, man. surely he took up our pain yes. and bore our suffering. Yes. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. I guess I can, I can paraphrase the verses by saying, a few in his lifetime received him. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes hmm? And many more after his death. After his death. Yes, preacher. Nicodemus. Yes. Come on, yes. somebody say amen. Yes. Joseph of Arimathea. I tell you. Come on, preacher. somebody say hallelujah. Yes. You know, man. hallelujah hey, the preacher. apostle Paul. Yes, Come sir. on, somebody say praise <laughs> the Lord. And we have so many more around the world. Yes. In the Bahamas, in the USA, in Canada, in London. Am I speaking the truth? Yes, preacher. In the Caribbean Union, in Jamaica. Come on, somebody say amen. Amen, amen preacher. And the testimony is this, John 1 and verse 12. Yes. Come on, we the punch the thing here. What it says here? It says, but as many as received him. Yes, please. To them gave he power to become the sons of God. Yes, man. Even to them that believe on his name. Oh, when we receive him, he gives us power. Yes. So we are back, gentlemen. We are back, Eleronian Pastor Privil. Mm -hmm. um, so we had, we had a number of themes happening right here in this opening scene. Gentlemen, can you speak to those themes? Pastor Privil, I think you should go first because there are a number, apparently, he gives us an opening um, where he, he shows that the Bible is in parts and in series. Give us some, some thoughts, Pastor, on, on, on that theoretical language we have there. Yeah, he, he, he spoke about the, the three um, main parts of the, of the New Testament. The, 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 he called, well, he refers to them as the genres, um, referring to the narrative aspect, which is the story aspect, the letters, the epistles, and then he speaks about the parables, the apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he makes reference to, um, to the four main parts of the New Testament, and he emphasized the gospel a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the cross of Christ is centralized in the gospel, and that is where his emphasis was yesterday, the cross of Christ. And um, 
we see the cross of Christ, the crucifixion of Christ, the sacrifice of Christ being a central feature of the everlasting gospel. Amen. 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 Eleveni, what, what did you pick yes, up yes. from that clip? Yes, yes. Um, I agree with, with Pastor. Um, you know, when, when I pick out the Bible, um, you could go to um, Proverbs and get some, some wisdom on, on daily living. Mm -hmm. um, there's a number of Bible stories. Um, you'll get the historical account. Um, there's, there's Psalms of praise and experiences that um, the Psalmist would have went through, that we would have went through, and we could, we could um, somewhat, um, it, it resonates with us. Mm -hmm. So, we, so we, we partake in that. But mm -hmm. however, it, we, uh, amidst all of that, there is something that is so important. What is centered in the Bible is, is like Pastor said, the gospel and the, the sacrifice of Christ. I mean, if you miss anything throughout the Bible, the, 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 you wouldn't want to miss what, 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 the, what the cross is about because that is, that is the foundation, that is the center, the heart of it, of, of it all. Um, I, 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 I would stop here. All right, all right. As, as we, I, I will stop here. Okay, so we have, so we have, can go on. Oh yeah, so we are going to unfold into our second clip. Let's go. It's the privilege of you becoming a child of God. Amen. It's Amen. a privilege. It's yes, a what? It's a privilege. It's a blessing. Yes. You getting baptized? It's a privilege. Yes, it's a preacher. blessing. Yes. And so I am concluding, therefore. That the problem with the cross of Christ to many people is that they have rejected Christ's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Yes. I sure. said they have rejected Christ's sacrifice for so long that accepting it becomes a moral issue. Have mercy, preacher. Seriously. The haters of the cross are saying, mm. isn't God unfair to punish Jesus in our place? <laughs> My Lord. Mm. In the person of his son. Mm -hmm. God was taking the punishment on himself. Yes. Christ died, yes. yes. But it affected all of heaven. Oh, yes, preacher. On, yes. yes. One spiritual writer, Ellen G. White, said, man, that it was a sad day in heaven. Yes. But thank God it didn't last long. It lasted for three days. Yes. After the sadness came joy. Yes, preacher. Because he was no longer dead. He's alive. alive. Yes. And he's still alive. Yes, sir. Come yes, somebody preacher. say amen. Amen. He's alive, preacher. What's the second one, reader? Isn't God's reaction to sin out of proportion to the crime? <gasps> when you sin, you sin against God. <laughs> And so David cried out, have mercy upon me, O God, yes. according to thy loving kindness, yes. according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Watch the strong verb. David said what? Blot out. Preacher. Blot out, man. Yes. Come on, somebody that. say amen. Remove it. Yes. Wash it away. Yes. Preacher. Come on, erase it. Yes. Blot out. Yes. My transgression. My transgression. Yes. Eternal penalty of so many be paid in a few hours but just one man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You all listen to me. Jesus was just not another man. No. No way, preacher. He is the eternal word. Yes. Who was with God. And who was God. Yes. And who became man. Yes. Come on, somebody say amen. That's right. And I told you before, I'll tell you again. Before man was made, the decision was made that somebody in the Godhead got to die for man. Yes. And God in the point it out and said, Jesus, you know. Jesus decided, Father, I will go. I will yes. go, preacher. Yes. 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 If you're a man today, you deserve, you deserve to serve Jesus. If you're a woman today, you deserve to serve Jesus. He didn't die for animals. Or is anybody here? Yes. He died for human beings. Yes. Come on, somebody yes. say amen. amen. The cross, yes. in its original context, was a symbol of death and defeat. Yes, yes, preacher. Today, that symbol of defeat is a symbol of victory, man, preacher. Read the thing, yes, man. Yes. So the same thing that was a symbol of defeat yes. is now a symbol of victory. Oh, yes, preacher. Jesus. Victory is mine, preacher. Yes. In fact, it was the symbol of a very cruel death. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It was a form of torture and humiliation. Yes. Ultimately, leading 
to a long and painful day. Yes, preacher. I'm trying to paint some pictures yes, here yes, so preacher. you can understand the cross, man. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that Jesus intentionally mm -hmm. used the gruesome symbol mm -hmm. to get the people's attention. Mm -hmm. I hear you, preacher. He got their attention and he still gets their attention. Yes, sir. Because of the power of the cross. The power of the cross. That's and right. So watch it here. I got four statements for you. Number yes. one, the cross of Christ is what, reader? It's the center of the story of the scripture. Oh, you better believe it. Look at number two. The cross of Christ conquers what? Sin and death. Man, reader, read the thing, my man. The mm. cross of Christ, what it does? It, it conquers sin and death. Uh, and preacher. the third one. The mm. cross of Christ does what? It vanquishes the Come devil. Come on, say again. Mm -hmm. I said the cross of Christ does it what? It vanquishes the devil. Hallelujah. Yes. And don't miss number four. The cross of Christ. Come on, read. They gotta yes. say it. The yes. cross of Christ. What? It brings peace, reconciliation. Yes, sir. And unity. And unity, man. Yeah. Gentlemen, we are back once more. Mm -hmm. And and there there were there were so many themes in that. Um, I'll allow I'll allow your your pastor Pavel to have a go at that. What? Oh yes, yes. But yeah, you that, saw, that was that was um, very he, comprehensive. Yes, yes, it was a lot. And but but I saw him mention that first. First of all, that the the cross. Um, uh, many people still have not accepted the cross of Christ. A number of people have not accepted um that sacrifice, and uh, and and he, he he went on to say that. Something like the cross, which was a, a symbol of defeat, is now a symbol of victory. And now as we present the cross to, to many people, as the cross is being presented, the sacrifice is being presented um, to many people, and, and we, we offer persons the gospel, and we, we, we preach the word, we, we invite person to be part of that victory as well. What do you say, Pastor? True. I, I, I like the point he made when he said that um, becoming a child of God is a privilege and a blessing. Mm. You know, mm. he mentioned that and we need to see it as that, as a privilege and a blessing. And, um, you know, many individuals rejected the sacrifice of God. The Orthodox Jews, up to now, they do not believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They believe that he was a good man, you know? But they do not believe that he was God. And I like, mm -hmm. I like the point he made when he, when he spoke about, um, he said, sin is against God, you know? Sin is against God, but in the sacrifice of Christ, reconciliation takes place. And um, mm -hmm. he says, the eternal Christ is, is the eternal word of God. He was mm -hmm. God, and then Amen. he became Amen. man. In the cross, we find reconciliation, we find unity, and and, and what is amazing, no matter where you're coming from, Pastor, no matter where I am coming from, when, when, when we experience the cross and what Christ has done for us, um, we, we become children of God and we become brethren. We become, we become brethren and, and uh, the cross means the same to us. And therefore, we are united in, 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 in mission we, we, are, we are united in, in brotherhood. We, we are united in, in, our, in our, our goal, where we're we going to. And it's just amazing, again, how something as gruesome as the cross brings about such, such positivity. How Christ would have used something so, so gruesome to grab our attention. So, sorry, something so gruesome that it would, it would grab our attention and yet give out um, um, love, give out blessing, give out success through, such, through something. I, I mean, it is, just an, it is just amazing. 
you know, there, there is a lot of power in the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. When Christ was dying at Calvary, you know, we saw the cross as a symbol of um, cruelty and death, mm. you know, mm -hmm. painful defeat. You know, the enemy was rejoicing at that point. But when he resurrected, it transformed everything. And today we see it as, as that symbol of victory over death, victory over sin by the grace of God. So the, 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 the mm -hmm. cross gives us power, and we know too that it is a common denominator in Christianity. If you don't believe in the cross of Jesus Christ, you cannot be a Christian. Hmm. Gentlemen, that was, mm -hmm. a, that was our fiery round. So we're going to go to our last and third clip. Let's take it away. The apex of the struggle with temptation took place in Gethsemane. Yeah. In Gethsemane, he came face to face with the horror of what the cross really meant. Mm. The Bible says in Matthew, Matthew 24, uh, in fact, Matthew 26, 39, what it says here, reader? And he went a little further mm. and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And let's, and let's go forward, verse 44. And he left them. Mm -hmm. and so after the struggle, them. after the struggle in the garden, he left them and went where? And went away he, again. Yes, please. And what? And prayed the third time. How many times? The man? third time. And watch it now. Watch it now, mm -hmm. Elder Woody. Elder Woody, he knew what he was doing. Yes, yes. He knew he came to what to die, but yes. it was hard. It was hard, preacher. Yes. It was a difficult time. What preacher. difficult time? Yes. Seriously. I know it's difficult to leave your church. And accept the Sabbath of the Lord. But watch it. If Jesus can go through this, you can go through it. Yes, yes, preacher. Am I talking? preacher you better say that again. Yes. The cross can deliver you from low self-esteem. Yes, yes. And what preacher. is this one, reader? Defeat. Come on, say the gentleman from what? Defeat. And what else? Loneliness. And what, el what else? Error. And what else? The occult. The occult. And this one, number six, is and what? Sexual immorality. Yes, man. At the cross, at the cross, I first saw the light. Yes. And the burden of my heart. Oh, the way, preacher. In addition, he did not die a martyr's death. Nope. No way, preacher. The death. In fact, that death could impress, but not forgive. But not forgive. A martyr's death could impress, but not forgive. That's true. Could move men, but not Redeem man, man, the man. man. Could what? Move men, but not redeem men. And what's this word here, reader? Could what? To criticize society. But what? But not judge the world. Oh, I like That's it, preacher. Deep, Pastor. That's deep. And so watch it. The agony of the cross mm -hmm. is that he was what? Bearing the sins of the world. Oh, hallelujah. Aye. Amen. Amen. Aye, aye, aye. Mm. Finally, friends. There's baptism in the cross. Yes. <laughs> we have in baptism today. Hallelujah. Man. Yes. I can hear some of the songs at the place of baptism. Huh? I yeah. can hear you singing, man. I can see Pastor Ambrose yes. putting down one. Come on, man. Yes. I can see Pastor Daniel putting down another. Huh? Yes. I can see Pastor Webb. Is anybody here? Yes, preacher. Take me to the water, preacher. Take yes. me to the water to be baptized, yes. man. Finally, there's baptism in the cross. Romans chapter 6 and verse 3 and 4. What it says here, reader? It says, know ye not. Mm. That so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ yes. were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. Mm. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. And so just as Christ's resurrection followed his death. Yes. So it is in this experience. Of each of his followers. Yes. God's idea is not, is not a moral void, but a what? A new life of fullness. Ah, yeah, yeah, boy, I like that. Mm -hmm. And this life begins with what, reader? With the death of the old one. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. huh. It was marked by what? Egocentric selfishness. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. I declare, therefore. That Gentlemen, we are back. We are, we are, we are back once more. Um... There's power in the cross. 
there's victory in the cross. Mm -hmm. In the cross <laughs> has deliverance. In the cross can set us free. Amen. Um, there's so much Amen. in the cross. And here we can see um, mm -hmm. baptism. And pass. I know yesterday you did put down five, as you said, you did put down. And we are so thankful that souls came to the Lord. Gentlemen, we have about three minutes left, so you guys, you guys can take it away. Yes, what jumped out for me yeah. was that the cross is the solution for, for the sin problem. That's one. It is the solution for the sin problem. So, so whatever issues that we may be struggling with, whatever um, problems that we may be going through, um, and we know it all stems from this sin situation that we are in, let us always look to the cross. Let us look to Christ um, for that solution. I just want to make that quick point. Yes, and um, in addition to that, we see that baptism is a symbol of a death to sin, a burial to sin, just like Christ died on, on, on Good Friday, and um, he was buried, and um, it's like a burial of our sins and a resurrection into a brand new life when we come up mm -hmm. out of the water. The same thing that happened to Jesus Christ. He, 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 he rose again the third day from the grave. And when we come up out of that water, we come up a brand new individual covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, justified and ready to face the new life. Amen, 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 amen. amen. So gentlemen... So yesterday we had in St. Lucia uh, 26 baptisms. Amen. Amen. And we give God Amen. thanks and praise, praise for that. You know, oh, the yes. Caribbean oh, yeah. Union, um, the regional field had about 358 baptisms. And last Sabbath, we had in total a little over 335. Okay. So, mm -hmm. souls, so souls are coming to the Master. And we want to thank the Lord for using the evangelists. And, and we know that yes. the seed is being planted as well. So as we have more campaigns, there'll be greater harvest. And, um, yes. Amen. So, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's sowing and reaping. It's sowing and reaping. Yes. As, as I we said are, 300 earlier yes. from last week, but it was over 400. Okay. And right now we have almost mm. 800. Well, to God be the glory. Good things mm. he has done. Gentlemen, yes. we are coming down to the end of tonight. Um, um, Ronnie, what's that topic? <laughs> okay, tonight's topic, does God care which day we keep? Does God care which day we keep? Well, I know he does, so pass. I know you don't want to give it away. So folks, stay tuned, stay locked <laughs> as we get ready to um, go over to our current transmission. Pass, pattern words from you. Yes, I just want to say to our viewers and listeners tonight, if you have having any problems registering for baptism, just contact a pastor, an elder, or a Seventh-day Adventist, a member that is near you, and register your decision. Call us up. Um, let us know that you want to surrender to Jesus Christ. We can call you up. We can pay you a visit. We would be more than happy to assist you in making that decision and going all the way this Sabbath. Sabbath again, we have another baptism. And we look forward to the many souls who will surrender to Jesus Christ. Gentlemen, yeah. see you guys tomorrow, Gosselin. And stay tuned, folks, as we move over to Carol Transmission. Amen.
Loving Father in heaven, we just thank you for this wonderful, this Holy Ghost inspired Caribbean Union Good News Impact Festival and your man servant, Dr. Claudius Morgan. We thank you, oh God, for the past few weeks, the drug addicts have been liberated from the cult of addiction, prostitutes have been saved, those who are poor and who are weak and fragile have felt a sense of Holy Ghost empowerment. Tonight, O oh Lord, we expect Pentecostal showers in tsunami form, reaching the hearts of people across the globe, across the Caribbean. Those who are sad, O oh Lord, give them joy for mourning. Those who are experiencing a phase of their life where they feel depressed and disappointed and disjointed, they feel your whole lives being dismantled. I pray, oh God, that they will feel your presence. They'll be covered by your blood. They'll be saved by your grace. They came here weak, but may they leave strong. Before this sermon, oh God, they were worried and anxious. But at the end, may they feel that sense of the enduring presence of the Holy Ghost. May they see your Shekinah glory in their bedrooms, in their dining rooms, on their workplaces, where they're listening to your word again. Bless every participant. Give us the peace that passes all understanding. Bless each listener, each viewer, and may they realize um, that weeping will endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning. So in spite of the pandemic, uh, in spite of the pandemonium formed by the pandemic, uh, give them, O oh Lord, faith. Uh, help them to rejoice evermore and come boldly before your throne and find grace to help in time of need. This be your prayer in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. Amen and Amen. Greetings, everyone, and I'm hoping you all had a splendid day today. Thank you so much, Pastor Clive Dottin, for blessing the proceedings. And last but not least, hello, hello, Kay. Hello, Pastor Blackman. I hope you are doing wonderfully as well. Let me take this time to welcome you, the viewers, to week three of the Good News impact evangelistic campaign and we continue to pray that you are doubly blessed by this service and this special message entitled does god care which day we keep we will learn why saturday and sunday are in the boxing ring and who will come out the winner indeed but just in case this is your first time joining us, we will be posting a link where you can register for this series. We would love to hear from you, so make sure to register. This link along with our prayer requests link will be placed in the live chat. And be sure to share your prayer requests with us. And also subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified about our upcoming programs. And please feel free to invite a friend to view along with you. All right, Pastor Jamil. Before we continue into our inspiration, I would like to challenge each of us to take a moment to read a good book, especially the good book, the Bible at least once a day. The Bible not only gives mental stimulation, stress reduction, and knowledge, it brings us closer to Jesus and brings him closer to us, which is the greatest possible benefit we can receive. Oh yes, and our program will also feature a presentation from the St. Lucia Mission navigating through COVID-19. Our program features thus far have both been educational and inspirational. And so don't you miss it. Now, without any more delay, let us join together in song with an extra special worship session 
from three of our territories.
when we all get to heaven sing the wondrous love of jesus sing his mercy and his grace in the mansions bright and blessed he'll prepare for us a place ik weet niet voor u maar ik ben blij dat ik vandaag ben opgestaan en dat ik hier mag zijn om god te loven en te prijzen voor wie hij is Amen. when we Amen. all get to heaven let's sing that song Gladness gleaming to cheer the wanderer, lone and tempest toss. Come on, everyone, lift your voices with us together as we sing the song. Give me the Bible.
The COVID-19 virus has caused so much insult, not only with physical effects, but mostly psychological. Many have had to undergo having a painful nasal swab, the agony of awaiting results, the slavery feeling of being in quarantine. Some have lost jobs and facing financial crisis or complete financial loss. These can cause anxiety and depression on various levels. Navigating through these times calls for deliberate effort and patience. Here are a few things you can try. Pray about everything, about how you're feeling, about the finances for you to get better, about coping better, whatever it is, pray about it. Enhance your immune system. And here are a few things to do. Get adequate rest, especially rest before 10 p.m. at night. Yes, 8 to 10 hours is fine. It also helps reduce the incidence of cancer. Enjoy the sunlight. If you're in quarantine, you can stay in your balcony or around your house and drink plenty of water to keep your mucous membranes nice and moist. 8 to 10 glasses a day is fine. And when you're alone or you're six feet or more away from others, enjoy the fresh air. Be creative also with your free time. Plant what you eat. And you can make creative dishes with that extra green fig or plantain that you have. Also, swallow your pride. If you see your neighbor has extra green fig or plantain that you cannot afford at the time, ask. The Bible did say to ask and you shall receive. <laughs> you know, also in your free time, you can review documents to improve your knowledge while you're waiting, you know, heading back to work. Or if you're thinking of starting a new career path, use that time wisely. Also, spend more time in the Bible. Because Jesus really wants to spend time with you. Continue to wear your face mask because there are persons out there who are asymptomatic. And if you're feeling unwell, tell somebody. Call a doctor. Speak to them. You might not feel well physically or psychologically because a delay can actually be dangerous. 2 Timothy 1.7 says that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Accept Jesus today as our lives navigate through Earth's history. God bless you. Welcome back to the Good News Impact Evangelistic Campaign. I am Pastor Timothy Leto. If you've just joined us, we are so glad to have you here because guess what? We have good news for you. This program is brought to you by the Seventh-day Adventist churches from 27 territories comprising 245,000 members within the entire Caribbean. And we want to tell you about Jesus. We invite you to join us throughout this series as Evangelist Claudius Morgan shares messages of hope, peace, and love. To join our services, register and submit your prayer request, please visit our website, goodnewsimpact.com. We want to connect with you. It's our prayer that you'll be encouraged to see Jesus through this entire Good News Impact campaign. And may the Holy Spirit prepare our hearts to hear God's messages from Pastor Morgan. So stay with us, stay right here. We want to tell you about Jesus and what he can still do for you. Time measured out my days. Life carried me along. In 
my soul I yearn to follow God but knew I'd never be so strong I looked hard at this world to learn how heaven could Just to end where I began, where human effort is all in vain. Were it not for grace, I could tell you where I'd be wandering down. battles I would face forever running but losing the race were it not for grace so here is all my praise expressed with all my heart offered to a friend who took my place and ran a course I could not start and when he saw in full how much his love would cost he still went the final mile between me and heaven so I would not be lost were it not for grace I could tell you where I'd be wandering down some pointless road to nowhere with my salvation up to me I know how that would go the battles I would With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. 
I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. Psalms 54 verse 6 You may give to support the work of the gospel at goodnewsimpact.com slash donate. Hey, my friends, from all over the Caribbean and the world, men, women, boys, and girls will be baptized in the Good News Impact 2021 Evangelistic Series. We have made plans all across the Caribbean Union to ensure that our friends can be accepted into the fellowship of the church. In some territories, the pastors are literally standing by to take you to the water to be baptized. Baptisms are happening all around the Caribbean. In fact, all around the Caribbean Union, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Monstrat, or the Republic of Guyana, Dominica, St. Lucia, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Suriname, St. Croix, hey, St. Thomas, St. John's, Tortola, yes, in Virgin Garda, in Anigada, in St. Martin, in St. Eustatius, Seba, and Anguilla. Seventy Adventist churches are waiting to welcome you with open hands. But more important, Jesus is God. Jesus is tenderly calling today, calling today, calling today. And the call is, come home, come home. Ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, hey, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling, oh sinner. Come home. This is your opportunity. Take hold of it. God bless you. And congratulations. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let us bow our heads as we pray. Loving Father, we come before your presence with thankfulness in our hearts because you have kept us alive throughout the day you have provided for us you have protected us and you have brought us here safely to listen to another portion of your divine word as we've come lord we have brought an offering with us we pray and ask that you will accept it but most of all help us to give our whole heart to you so that when you come we can be saved in your kingdom thank you for hearing and answering our prayers in jesus name we pray amen Because of his grace I don't want to be left 
Hey, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good, good night, night good night, good night. I saw many of the clips with folks getting baptized yesterday. Oh, yes. Yeah, we don't have a total figure for you, but as soon as it comes to hand, as soon as my secretary puts it together and let me know, I'll be happy to let you know. Amen? But congratulations on those who are baptized today. May God bless you. And now you have the opportunity to lead somebody to Christ. So make sure that during this week that you find somebody, a relative, you know, your spouse, your children, a neighbor, and lead them to the foot of the cross. Come on, somebody say amen. Amen. All ladies and gentlemen tonight, I want to greet the many school teachers we have around the Caribbean Union. I am not certain how many schools we have. I know we have a lot. I guess I can get that and let you know. A greeting to all the students and all the teachers. I want to greet the literature evangelists. You know, the literature evangelists across the Caribbean Union. And we want to wish you all God's blessing in this COVID time. Because you go out there and you give the books and you sell the books and you soften people's hearts. You never know. God works in mysterious ways uh one preacher said that another preacher said he works in perfect ways so i want to greet you and wish you god's blessing i want to greet the elders of our churches many of them all across the caribbean union and i want to greet our church clerks mm -hmm. the one who's working so hard to make sure that all the information comes to the secretariat in the caribbean union may god bless you may you be purposeful come on in jesus name amen amen, amen. Congratulations again to those of you who got baptized. You're here with us. I hope you brought a friend. If you didn't get them tonight, please bring them tomorrow night. And come and sing with us as we sing tonight with our praise team here in the beautiful island of Barbados. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Please, 
Come by here and bless us tonight. May your words not return unto you void. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, good night again. Good night again. Amen. I want to greet my, my communication directors. We have 10 of them. Uh, we have Kerry Curry in the SVG mission. And we have Sheldon. Sheldon and Debbie in the South Caribbean Conference. We have Annette in the Tobago Mission. <laughs> and we have Dr. Thorne yes. in the East Caribbean Conference. We have Pastor Knowles in the South Leeward Conference. And Stephen Tulop, I hope I have your name right, buddy, in the Suriname Mission. Yes. And of course, we have Pastor Royston Filbert in the North Caribbean Conference. You can't miss that one at all. <laughs> And then we have Pastor Hilaire in the Grenada Conference. Pastor Daryl in the St. Lucia Mission. And of course, the great guy in the conference, Pastor McKenzie. Yes. And these are some of the folks behind the scenes making sure it happens. And may God bless you. May God give you the strength as you reach men and women for Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right. Well, we're going to preach tonight. <laughs> it's an intriguing topic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dig into it. I ask you please to pray for me. Yes. And the topic is, does God care which day we keep? Mm -hmm. What's the topic, reader? Does God care which day we keep? Does God care which day we keep? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to begin by saying that there is no individual Sabbath day. All right, preacher. Did you hear me? Yes. You can't have one, I have one, she has one. He, no, there's no individual Sabbath day. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From biblical observation, there is not a Sabbath for you and one for me. No way, preacher. God did not give a Sabbath day to the Jews and another to the Gentiles. No way, preacher. Is anybody listening to me? Yes, sir. I hope you are. And be it known, what it says, reader? Only God has authority to make a day holy. Man, you didn't say that too nice. I don't like that, man. Come on, bongs are taking them out. What it yes. says, yeah? Only God yes, man. has authority yes, to man. make a day holy. And ladies and gentlemen, if that is the case, why have people established days of worship based on their own idea and tradition? Mm, good question, preacher. Good question. And the day made holy was established at creation by God. That's by right. God, preacher. That's right. Yes. It was established before sin. Yes. And so watch it here. Creation sets the stage for the keeping of God's Sabbath day. Yes, preacher. Yes. Come on, somebody talk to me. Man. Yes, sir. If the creation days are the same, today, uh -huh, the seventh day Sabbath celebrates the what? The end of the week. And the end of the week is not Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. That's right, That's preacher. Right. Yes. Yes. Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. Friday is the sixth and Saturday is the seventh day. The seventh. Yes. Now, before God introduced the Sabbath, the Bible uh, possesses an abundance of artistry. Of what? Artistry. Of artistry that God wants us to note and enjoy. All right, preacher. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight, artistry establishes unity and what? And pattern. And pattern. Yes. Artistry establishes what? Progression and, and balance. balance. And what else? Contrast, Contrast and symmetry. And don't miss the last one. Yes. Reception and rhythm. rhythm. The establishment of the Sabbath did not jump out at us on the first day. No way, preacher. God prepares us. Come on, read the thing, reader. God prepares us for the day with what? With the dominant imagery of sky, water, and earth. <sighs> now follow me here, please. Help me, Jesus, please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the problem of which there's the Sabbath has nothing to do with God. All right, preacher. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Yes. If God changed the Sabbath, He is destroying the what? What's the, that big word? Chronological. The chronological catalog mm -hmm. of that creation week. Yes, yes, preacher. Creation week has order. Order, preacher. Yes. Yeah. 
and it conveys an overwhelming what sense, sense of god transcendence yes sir yes preacher another big word yes and so changing the sabbath to any other day of the week destroys god's what establishment of order wow serious thing i say wow yes mm -hmm. do you put on your pants before you put on your what goes under no do you put on your shirt then you put on your vest no way preacher. have you ever seen anybody put on shirt put on jacket then shirt <laughs> no way preacher. even even how you dress has order uh, order preacher that's oh, right somebody talk to yes, me sir. Man. yes sir yes sir yes, yes. Mm -hmm. even the plate of food you ever see anybody put the gluten under the rice <laughs> <laughs> unless you're hiding it preacher yes sir yes, yes preacher come on now oh my god and so changing the Sabbath to any other day of the week mm -hmm. destroys God's what? Establishment. Establishment of order. Order preacher. Yes. The symmetry. Mm -hmm. Design and what else? Repetition. And the story consists of a what pattern reader? A fixed, a fixed pattern. fixed pattern for every day except the Sabbath. Except the Sabbath preacher. Yes. Yes. Pastor, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Look on the screen. Every day. Yes. Number one, announcement. Yes. And God said. And God said. What's the second one? Command. Let there be so. Yes. What's the third one? Report. And it was so. Yes. <laughs> yes what's sir. the fourth one? Evaluation. And God said that it was good. Uh huh. And what's the fifth one? Placement. Placement. And the morning. And, and the. Come on, somebody yes, talk sir. to me, yes. man. And the morning and the evening pattern. Yes. Yes. And so the pattern of Genesis 1 shows light and yes. sky and sea and dry land and what? And vegetation. vegetation. It shows light bearers. Yes. It shows birds. Is, is anybody here? Yes, preacher. Yes. Birds and sea creatures. What yes. else does it show? Land, animals, and man and woman. Yes, man. Yes. yes sir. Please note that the process of creation. Yes, preacher. It's described as an instantaneous act of God's word. Yes, sir. Yes, preacher. I want you to note again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Resting, yes. blessing, yes. and sanctifying the Sabbath was not an afterthought. Not an afterthought, preacher. No way, preacher. Nothing God does is an afterthought. No way. God is a God of order. Yes, God sir. knew that he was making man on the sixth and sun and moon on the fourth. God knew that it would have been a Sabbath day so that men can recognize who is in charge. Who? Come on, yes, somebody sir. talk Come to on, me. Preach, preach. Oh, yes, yes preacher. We with you tonight, preacher. Mm. That's the point on the screen, boy. If God was reader, if God established a Sabbath on earth, yes, please. it is safe to conclude that there was a Sabbath kept in heaven. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah, man. Feel it, preacher. Feel mm -hmm. it. So I believe when we keep Sabbath down here, angels are keeping Sabbath, man. Yes. And God is come on, somebody say amen, no, man. Amen. And, and you want to know how God keeps the Sabbath? You just looked at how Jesus kept it in the New Testament. Yes. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. He's the mighty healer, he cleansed the leper, when the people saw him, they started walking, everywhere he went, my Lord, he was doing Look at good. God on the Sabbath, my God is a miracle, working God, my God is a miracle, working Hallelujah, man. Yeah, Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. Creating the first humans. Yes. And giving them a Sabbath day to keep. The role of God changed. It changed, preacher. Tell us. Pastor Morgan, what you talking about? Mm -hmm. Change from a transcendent God to an imminent God. Yes, sir. I yes, think sir. I told you out here. Everything was created from a transcendent, transcendent. position. Yes, but to make man, he came down. And he made man from the same dirt that he created. Yes, yes. preacher. Yes. So while God is exalted in his royal dignity mm -hmm. and exercises both what? Control. Considering the man. Both what? Control. Control and authority uh, mm -hmm. in his what? Creation. In his creation, he is by virtue of this control and authority yes. very present to mm -hmm. his creation. Yes, preacher. Especially his people in a personal and what kind of way? Intimate way, preacher. Amen. 
intimate. Wow. Thank yes. you, Lord. Yeah, man. Yeah. Forget about all the transcendency. Think of the imminency. And he walks with me. Yes. And he talks with me. Don't miss that. And he tells me I am his own. Don't miss that. And the joy we share has been tarried. None other has ever That we have a big problem. Yes, a big problem. Can I say it? Yes. My pastors around the Caribbean Union, those in Guyana, those in Trinidad, those in the Bahamas, those in Jamaica say we have a big problem. Yes. What is the problem? Read this on the screen. How can what? How can you honor God mm. and His creation and do not honor His Sabbath day? Mm. I'll say it. I'll say it a thousand times. That's mm -hmm. the deep question. Mm -hmm. It's God's Sabbath. That's right. Mm. My Pentecostal friend, it is God's Sabbath. God's Sabbath, preacher. Now let's dig into some stuff here, please. W walk with me, won't you? Yes, Watch it. Yes. Everything God made during the cre creation week is very evident. What we else? Existing. Yes. Yes. And so you have sky. Yes, preacher. Existing. Look up when you go outside. Yes. yes. You have water. Existing today. Oh man, I had a bath this morning. Yes, amen. And I drank some today. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you have what? Earth. Earth. That's what we walk on. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we plant our cucumbers and we plant our potato yes. and we plant our pumpkins. Thank God for the earth. Yes. What else we have, Rita? Sun, moon, and stars. Oh, we see the sun during the day. Yes. You might not see the moon all the time, but you see it sometimes. That's right. And we see the stars. What else do we have? We have animals. Preacher. And don't miss this. I believe we have these people. We have what? Humans. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes preacher. Yes. What did the God didn't make them with no mass, though? Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go, mask up, put on mask, boy. Ah, watch this. Removing the Sabbath day from the list, what it does? Challenges. Come on, reader. It does what? It challenges. Challenges the what? The permanence uh -huh. of the principle and practice of Sabbath keeping. Yes, man. It was part of creation. Yes, preacher. Mm -hmm. Sabbath didn't come because of Jews. No way. Sabbath was part of creation. Yeah. Man kept it before he sinned. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, somebody talk to yeah. me, man. Yes, preacher. And God did not create on that day. On that day, that's right. That's right, preacher. And so the problem is this. Mm -hmm. You cannot view the Sabbath as a what? As a mosaic institution given exclusively for Jews. No. Right. Don't do it. At least, ladies and gentlemen, three passages in the New Testament destroys this view. Yes, preacher. Mark chapter 2 and verse 27. What it says here? And he said unto them, the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Oh, yes, man. I see this is the first reference in the New Testament to the what reader? The creation origin of Sabbath. Yeah. And in its context, he refutes the charge of Sabbath breaking leveled against his disciples. Yes, right. yes, preacher. Right. Spot on. Right. Mm -hmm. What were they doing? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Tell us, preacher. Relieving their hunger mm -hmm. by plucking raw ends of grains. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, preacher. I never tell you do that. I tell you what they were doing. <laughs> right. Yes, hmm? yes, mm -hmm. yes. And the word man, which is anthropon or anthropos, mm -hmm. suggests it's human function yes and so here you have man and here you have the what the sabbath yes and so right. even though the sabbath was given by divinity it's a human function yes yes, yes right. come on somebody say yes. amen amen huh? god is holy every day yes. but the sabbath is holy one day a week that's right. and as men we are not holy we are sinful yes come on somebody right. say yes, amen. that's right preacher. and god said with your sinful self i am calling you in communion with this holy self one day a week yes preacher yes yes, yes. yes. Work with us. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And so Jesus here is establishing the human and what? Universal. And say the thing, the man. Uh-huh. The human and, and universal, universal what? Value, value of the Sabbath. Of the Sabbath. It yes. has value. Yes. Amen. Amen. Anything God made has value. value. Preacher. Yes. Hallelujah. In China, you have man? Yes, that's right. In Russia, you have? Man. Man, say the thing, the man. Yes. In Africa, you have what? Man, preacher. In Barbados, in St. Lucia, yes. in Trinidad, yes. in St. Croix, in Guyana, you have what? You have man, preacher. Yes. And in the context, let me say again. And if the context is humans, then it was made yes. for man mm-hmm. and woman. And woman Amen. preacher. Amen. Yes. A second allusion to the creation origin of the Sabbath is found in John 5 and verse 17. Mm-hmm. Come on, read it, read it. What it says here? But Jesus answered them, mm-hmm. My father worketh. Here too, oh Lord, and I work. <laughs> what is the context here, Pastor? What kind of what kind of what's the context mm-hmm. here? Mm-hmm. He is charged for healing a paralytic on the Sabbath, yes. Mm-hmm. And in his defense, he exclaimed, My father does good on the Sabbath, so do I. So do I, that's you, right. you, you, yes, you, yes, you, yes. you, 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 you understand? We all stand, yes, you. man. Yes, in short, it is good to do good on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath, preacher. Sabbath should yes. not be a burden. Come no on, way, somebody preacher. say, Amen. No way, preacher. Sabbath should not bend your back and make you sad. On Sabbath, you should be happy, man. On Sabbath, you should be joyful. Yes. When you go into the synagogue, it's not to drop your face, even though you're hungry, yes, even preacher. though you don't have money. Come on, somebody. Say, yes, man, yes, when you come into the presence of God on the Sabbath, you gotta be happy. Yes, yes. Sabbath is a happy day, preacher. Yes, yes. holy Sabbath. Mm. Yes. yes, God created this world in six days. Uh-huh. Huh? Yes, on preacher. the seventh day, He rested from all His creative acts and did what? And set it apart. Remember, said, and did what? Set it apart mm. mm-hmm. to be an everlasting memorial of His work. Yes, preacher. But follow me here, please. Please help me, Lord. But though he rested from creating, he never ceased from persevering mm, and what? And governing uh-huh. that which he had formed. Ah. Mm-hmm. And so Sabbath was not made for God, it was made for? For man. As God. He is constantly employed in the same way. Yes, preacher. Governing and supporting some things. All things. Preacher. Yes, governing and supporting all things. Yes. Comforting the what? The wretched. The wretched and, and saving the the lost. Yes. Oh boy, this is this this is something else here. Yeah? And because he is God, he can do this mm-hmm. any day. Yes. Of the week. But we are not God. And we are under his control yes and command yes preacher and so his command is <laughs> what is the word remember what is his command remember come on man that's the only commandment where god says remember that's thou right. shalt not this thou shalt not this do not take the name of the lord in yes. vain yes. thou shalt not this but the fourth one says yes. remember remember preacher. i declare therefore that is that is redemptive yes. ministry performed on the day provides our what an explicit and in, what is an ex- Explicit endorsement of his Edenic origin. Yes, preacher. Yes, 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 preacher. Hallelujah. Mm. The third and most explicit reference of the creation Sabbath is found in the book of in the book of Hebrews. Okay, preacher. Found where? In the book of Hebrews. Mm -hmm. In this verse, the universal and spiritual nature of the Sabbath rest is exclaimed. Let me say that. That's too important to miss. Mm-hmm. In this verse, the universal and spiritual nature of, of, of Sabbath rest is established. Yes, preacher. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 4. Come on, everybody. What it says? Come on, take your time, reader. For he what? For he spake. He spake in a what? In a certain place. Uh-huh, of the what? Of the seventh day, seventh day on this way. Hold on. Where did he speak about the seventh day? At creation. Yes. That's right. And God did what? And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Don't miss this. What should be our immediate concern? Mm. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Lord, please. I say, what should be our immediate concern? Now, to know, ladies and gentlemen, that the author traced its origin not to Joshua's day, but to the time of Creation. creation. Yes. 
And what takes, in fact, what takes the Sabbath beyond creation to our time is this reader, reader. The, the what, the, the what, the, the what? The creation origin uh -huh. of the Sabbath is presented as the basis for understanding God's ultimate purpose for his people. Yes, man. And so after, after looking at these three verses, in fact, after looking at these three verses, we can conclude the following. Mm -hmm. The New Testament disagrees. Agrees. No, so, so, come on, reader. Come on, come on. You're sleeping on me here. Let's go again. <laughs> the, 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 I said the New Testament disagrees. It agrees. Preacher. I said the New Testament disagrees. It agrees. Oh, preacher. yes, man. I want, I want you to hear it. Uh -huh. The New Testament agrees. Yeah. With what? With, With the Old Testament. In what? In viewing, in the, viewing Sabbath. the Sabbath as a, celi as a celebration institution for some mankind. All mankind, preacher. Oh man, come on, let's say that again. Yes. I said the New Testament agrees with yes. the Old Testament. Yes. In viewing that, in viewing the Sabbath yes, as a creation institution for all mankind. Yes, preacher. These verses destroy the argument that the Sabbath is of Mosaic origin. Yes. And so watch it, watch it, reader. Mm -hmm. God what? God made it for man. Man said, no, God what? God made it for man. Man kept it before? Before sin. Man kept it? After sin. Abraham? Kept it. I say Abraham? Kept it. The Bible says, mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 26 and verse 5, what it says here? Because that Abraham obeyed my voice. Yes, please. And kept my charge. Yes, sir. My commandments. Yes. My statutes. What? And my laws. Who? Abraham. Abraham. Yes. Yes. Come on, read it again. Genesis 26 and verse 5. Come on, everybody. What it says? Because that Abraham obeyed my voice. Yes, man. And kept my charge. Yes. My commandments. My what? My statutes. No, 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 man. Whose commandments? My commandments. No, it's the Jews. No, my commandments. It's the Gentiles. No, my commandments. No, it's the Chinese. My commandments. It is God's Peter. commandment. Yes, sir. It is God's word. Yes, sir. God's sun. God's moon. Yes. God's stars. Yes. And it's God's commandments. God's yes. commandments. My commandments. My statues and my laws. Yes, sir. Jesus kept it. Yes, sir. So why did Jesus keep it? Because it's God's commandment. That's right. That's right. And Paul kept it because Paul accepted Jesus as a savior. Amen. And Paul kept it after the resurrection of Jesus. Years he was converted after, yes. after Jesus ascended into heaven. Yes, yes. Because on his way to Damascus to, 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 to destroy Christians, the brightness, the sun, the, the light that struck him off the horse mm. came from above the brightness of the sun. Yes. 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 Acts 26 and verse 13. Read it when you go home. All of these gentlemen here, does God care which day we keep? Yes, preacher. Man, answer me, no man. Mm -hmm. I said, does God care which day we keep? Yes, yes, he does, preacher. Yes, of course. Sabbath is not my church Sabbath. If my church stop keeping Sabbath, I'll be keeping it. Yes. It is God's Sabbath. That's right. That's right. And you don't keep it by really, well, I can't even say that now. I, I was going to say you don't keep it by staying at home, but what you could do now, you got to stay <laughs> home. That's right. That's right. <laughs> But as you stay home on Sabbath, come on, man. Yes. You don't do work. You don't wash clothes. You, you, you read your Bible or you go on the internet or the television and get something spiritual. Yes. Build up your soul. Yes. So whether there's pandemic or uh, epidemic or, or whatever demic, man, mm -hmm. uh, Saturday is still the Sabbath. Yes. Whether you can go to church or not, Saturday is still God's Sabbath. And God wants you to keep it. Yes, sir. Yes, preacher. Keep it holy. Mm. Yes. I said, does God care which day we keep? Oh, yes, he does. Yes. Acts 17 to and Paul. Mm -hmm. As his what? As his manner was. What? As his what? As his manner was. I think the Bible says something that as Jesus as his manner was. Yes. That's now it right. says Paul as his manner was yes. went in unto them and what? On three days. Not three and, days. And three Sabbath days. Come on, reader, put on your glass. How many yes. Sabbaths? <laughs> three Sabbath days. Three Sabbath days. Reason with them out of the scripture. Out of the scriptures, preacher. Yes. I said this as profound as I can say it. Saturday. The seventh day of the week is the Christian Sabbath. It's the Christian yes. Sabbath preacher. Yes. If you're a Christian, that, that's the Sabbath you keep. Come on, somebody say amen. That's right, amen. preacher. Amen. Mm. Let me know, please. Now, the Sabbath day was an important aspect of the covenant between God and man. Important, preacher. Mm? Yes. Mm -hmm. There is a biblically commanded Christian Sabbath. Yes. The creation Sabbath is rooted in both scripture and history. Yes, preacher. Well, like I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a football and, my, and, 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 and I'm going to go. Let me see again. I said the creation Sabbath is rooted in both what, reader? Scripture 
and history. Furthermore, God included the Sabbath in the Ten Commandments. Yes, yes, that's right, preacher. That's right. <laughs> now follow me here, please. Help me, Jesus. It is clear that we are saved by faith in Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Not by following commandments. Yes, preacher. You better say that again. I want to say that. Let me say that again. We are saved by faith in Jesus Christ, not by following commandments. That's right. However, Mm -hmm. As people who want to honor yes. and obey God, man said the thing, yes. we must what? We must accept, accept these ten commandments as a what? As a guide. As a guide for how God wants us to live. Yes, preacher. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. That's the truth. And the Sabbath is the fourth of the ten commandments. Yes, preacher. Yes. Not the third. No way. You don't know why I'm saying that. Do your research. I said the Sabbath is the fort. Yes. Huh? And you don't have five on one stone yes. and five on the other stone. No. The first four yes. on one stone and six on the other stone. That's right. Why, preacher? Because four is love to God yes, and six is love, love to, to man. man. That's right, preacher. Yes, Come on, somebody say amen. Amen. So the last commandment on the first stone is remember the Sabbath and it's the longest of all the commandments. Mm -hmm. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yes. Huh? And watch it. It didn't say remember the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath day. That's right. Because Sabbath in the Hebrew means rest. That's right. In other words, remember the rest day to keep it holy. holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Yeah. Come on, somebody talk to me now. Yeah. Say that's 20. Help me, Lord, please. There are 297 words in the Ten Commandments. Yes. And of these 297 words, there are some 94 words, 32%, 32% explaining the Sabbath commandment. <laughs> what a thing. That is important. Yes. That is no coincidence. Come on, somebody say amen. Yeah. And the Sabbath commandment is the only one that he blessed. Mm -hmm. yes. Come on, read it here. Exodus 20 and verse 11. For in six days, the what? The Lord made heaven and earth. Yes, please. The sea. Yes, man. And all that in them is. Yes, please. And rested the seventh day. Hold on, don't miss that. Rested what? The seventh it day. It never say rested Sabbath day. It no. say rested the seventh day. That's because right. Sabbath means rest. That's right. It never said rested on the sixth or rested on the first. It said rested on the seventh day. Yes, preacher. Yes. The and seventh the seventh day. day is the Sabbath day because it's the day that you rest. That's right. Come on, Come on right. somebody talk to me. Yes, tonight. preacher. Yes, sir. Oh, I am dying, oh Lord. I have heard thy voice and the two Somebody sing that. Hey, and I love to rise in the arms of that text again for emphasis exodus 20 and verse 11 come on what it says here for in six days mm. the lord made heaven and earth yes sir the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day wherefore the lord blessed the sabbath day mm. and hallowed it and so it is clear here, seven day sabbath day hmm? seven day saturday yes and so the, the, the sabbath day saturday can't argue with God, man. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's in the Bible. A-W-E-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's, that's the word for me. It's in the Bible. I stand alone on the word of God with the B-I-B-L-E. Sing it again. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the word for me. I stand alone on the word of God with the B-I-B-L-E. One more time. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God with the B-I-B-L-E. Oh, yes. Let's go a little further, people. It is clear. It is clear. Help me, Jesus, please. Mm -hmm. It is clear that God blessed the Sabbath. Amen. The blessing of the Sabbath falls on the Sabbath. In fact, let me say again. Mm -hmm. The blessing of the Sabbath falls not on the Sabbath, but on the seventh day. Yes, preacher. If that is the case, reader, it's a 24-hour blessing. Yes, preacher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 24-hour blessing. 
That's right. When I was an altar boy in a certain church, I would go to church at 8, 8 to 9, 10, and it's over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I go play football, I go to the uh, sea, I yes. go, but watch it. This blessing is a 24-hour blessing. 24-hour yes. preacher, yes. And so God never, God never blessed the Sabbath, but God put it, boy. But God did what? Bless the, the seventh, seventh day. day. And That's so the right. blessing is on the day. That's you can't right. move the day. That's right. This is my tired saying this thing. Yeah, this yeah. is my father's word. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on now. Now follow me here. Follow me here, please. Genesis does not say what the blessing entails. That's right. Genesis just say he blessed it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, ladies and gentlemen, the manner story, what story? The manner story helps us to understand the nature of the original blessing of the Sabbath. Yes, preacher. And so watch it. Tell of creation. Yes. The blessing is bestowed by proclamation. God just said, bless. Yes. I bless you. And who shall bless? No man. You don't talk to me no man. Yes. But watch it. With the man of story, the blessing is bestowed by preservation. preservation. Yes. And so watch it. God gave them manna. In fact, the manna that was given on the sixth day was preserved not by man, but by, but by God, yes. preacher. Yes. Come on now. Yes, sir. That's the truth. So read it. They got manna Sunday. Yes. One portion. Yes, yes. Monday. One portion. Tuesday. One portion. Wednesday, one portion. Thursday, one portion. Friday, twice. Two. two. Yes. Two. Two. Oh God, I ain't dropping none tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's my rest day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta go and meet with my angels. Yes. yes. <laughs> we gotta go and worship. Yes, sir. And some of these wicked Israelites went on Sabbath trying to get manna, it but they found none. None, for sure. Can I say something else? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what God give them on Sunday, if they put it up for Monday, it's spoiled. Yes, yes, If they yes. put it up for, for, for Tuesday, it's, it's spoiled. Yeah, it's true, if they put it up for yes. Monday, it's what? It's spoiled, preacher. If they put it up for Wednesday, it's what? It, it's spoiled. If they put it up for Thursday, it's what? It's spoiled. But that, what, that was given on Friday. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. I said that, that was given on yes, Friday. Did yes, not spoil. God yes, preach. Hallelujah! Yes, preacher. Yes. 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 <sighs> Help me, Lord. Somebody hold me. Yes. Oh, draw me close to you. Help me, Lord Jesus. Mm. Never let me go. I lay it all down again. God, please help me, Jesus. To hear you say that I'm your friend. Oh, you are my desire. Can I say this? Yes. The Sabbath is not just blessed, it is also sanctified. Oh, yes. So God rested. God blessed it. God sanctified. Yes. Didn't sanctify no other day. That's right. Why? He didn't have the time. He was working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But on Sabbath, he had time. He yes. stopped the working. Yes. After woman was created, 
That's it. Yes. This being the case, it is holy whether you keep it or not. Or That's not, preacher. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's the truth. You don't determine that it's holy. Correct. That's right. That's right. You might have a million people in your church. You might have 500,000. You might have more or less than that. But mm. you don't decide whether it's holy or not. God is the one. That's right. That's right. We have too many preachers across the world playing God. Hey. Yes. If God makes it holy, yes. If God makes the seven day holy, no man can make holy the first. That's right, preacher. I don't care how good you can preach. I don't care how many members you have. I don't care how big your offering is. Huh? This is in God's domain. Come on, somebody say Amen. 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 So my friends here tonight, the appearance of a day does not tell you if it's holy. Because snow falls on Sunday and snow falls on Saturday. Rain falls on Sunday and rain falls on Saturday. People are killed on Sunday and people are killed on Saturday. <laughs> Hurricane and storms hit on any day of the week. Uh, yes. Right. You don't get Corona on Saturday and don't get it on Sunday. It is true, preacher. <laughs> and so watch it now. Watch it here. It was God's what? Presence. Come on, you gotta read that, read it. This is powerful, this is powerful. Mm -hmm. It was God's what? Presence. In the burning bush of Exodus chapter 3 that made it holy. Yes, sir. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'll go in some place here. Yes, sir. Right. Surrounding bushes or ground were not holy. That's no. right, that's right. The account does not indicate that the ground looked or felt different from the surrounding landscape. No, no, God had to reveal it to Moses. Yes. That the ground is holy. Yes. Moses was given no choice but to treat that ground as special and holy. God said, Boy, take off your shoes. Yes, take them off, preacher. Yes. Yes, sir. Take off your shoes. I guess more, but God, I, I walk there. Yeah. Every day. With the sheep. Yes. I walk every day with the God. Yes. God said, I don't care. I said, take it off. Take it's holy. Off. Yeah. That's right. And so watch it. This being the case. Come on, read it, read it. Mm. This being the case, what? God is the one who determines what is holy. That's right. Yeah. That's the point. Yes, sir. Come on now. <laughs> yes. Woody, I don't like you. I don't like you. Woody said, say, read it again. Woody, read it again. What it says? This being the case. Yes, sir. Say. God is the one who determines what is holy. Yes, sir. Come on now. Write, God, that, write that on your phone. Yes. yes. Send that viral. Yes. yes. You all send viral. I sing in ting ting with, with like goat and sheep. Send this viral. Yes. Richard. Come on, say it again. This being the case, would you what it says? God is the one who determines what is holy. Therefore, if you must keep a Sabbath. Yes. You cannot use a walking day. That's right. You have to use a day that God has revealed us. That's holy. holy. Yes, preacher. Amen. That's right. That's right. Does God care which day we keep? Yes. Yes, preacher. Yes. Yes. Can I tell you, God is not against you, man. Amen. Mm, hallelujah for that. He loves you, man. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Even yes. if you have kept Sunday all your life, man. He loves you, man. Yes. I say he loves you. And what he does is for your benefit. Oh. Amen. 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 God decreed that we observe the Sabbath. That's yes. right. And God loves you, yes. mm -hmm. but He does not play around. That's right. That's right. In Eden, it's yes. on the screen, Woody. Yes. The only what? The only difference between the forbidden tree yes, man. and the other trees yes. was the fact that God said, Don't right. touch it. Has to be. Yes. Because if God made everything perfect, He can't make that one unperfect. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. God is holy. God can't make something unperfect. That's why God couldn't make Adam sin. That's right. Adam had to sin on his. Oh. That's right. Tonight, Jesus is not in the condemning business. Though. No way, preacher. He's in the saving business. Hallelujah. That's right. Is anybody yes. here? Yes. yes. Oh, Jesus. You're the center of, of my joy. Yes, girl, sing it. All that's good, sing it. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart. You're the heart of my contention. Oh, for all I do. Hey, Jesus. 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 Come on, sing the verse. You're the center of my joy. I think it's when I lost. Come on, sing it. When I lost. 
when I've lost my direction. Yes, can sing. You're the compass for my way. Yeah, man. You're the fire and light <laughs> when nights are long and cold. Yeah. In sadness, you're the laughter. Center of my joy. I said tonight, Jesus is not in, in the condemning business. No way, preacher. He's in the saving business. Amen. John 3 17. For God sent not his son into the world to do what? To Rita? condemn the world. But that the world through him might be might be saved. Oh, I kept Sunday holy. My wife did. Mm -hmm. Many people looking at me tonight. Kept Sunday also. Yes. It looked like all my musicians here kept Sunday. Yes. And there are folks looking at me tonight. Maybe you are keeping Sunday. I have baptized pastors who kept Sunday. Yes. Thank God for their honesty, man. I baptized judges who kept Sunday. Mm -hmm. I baptized voodooists who worship the devil. Yes. I baptize nuns who serve the priest. Now they are serving the priest of their soul, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I baptize army men in Africa. Man. Yes. See them put down their guns and walk to the altar. Man. The point is this. Man. What's the point? They are honest people in this world. Yes. Amen. Who when they hear the truth of the Sabbath will keep it. Yes. And we'll obey. Amen. Hey, when we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, sing it. What a glory He sheds on our way while we do His good will. Sing it, girls, please. He abides with us still and with all who Trust and obey. Sing the song. Trust and obey. And sing it, man. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. My team here was showing me some of the baptisms across the Caribbean, man. Tobago, St. Vincent. I can't remember where. But tonight I want to extend this appeal to you. Hmm? Listen to the first question. Tonight I want to pray that the Sabbath experience will be yours today and forever. Mm -hmm. You want me to do that? Just, just shake your hand. Yes. Tonight, I want to pray that the Sabbath experience in Christ becomes the joy of your life. Yes. Shake both hands. Mm -hmm. Tonight. I want to pray that you embrace the Sabbath experience tonight. Yes. I say tonight. Tonight, preacher. Remember when I preached in, when I was a student in Trinidad. Close it now. Pastor Hunt, Pastor Moses, he's deceased now. But he came and took me to a Baptist church in Mausica. And then they were coming to the crusade. We sent a bus for them and they were coming. Full bus every night. And then one Sabbath, Pastor Hunt and I went up to the church. And he said, you got to preach. And I preached, boy. Don't forget, my mother was a Baptist. My father was. I grew up in the Baptist church, spiritual Baptist church, I mean. Yeah, man. 
That's where I got, get my rhythm from, you know, not from Calypso. <laughs> I used to be on the chair, and my, my mother and the people, mm, 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 and yes, man. The first Sabbath we baptized more than half of the church. But we didn't baptize the pastor and the assistant pastor. I guess you heard the story already. So that Thursday I drove to Mausica. With the college van. I used to drive the college van. Pastor Moses, I was not on college business, but I was on God's business. <laughs> and when I got to the gate, man, the assistant pastor rushed me like a pit bull dog. You, you. I guess they were angry. You, you. You show me where... The Bible's the Sabbath was made for man. You show me. And he was angry. He allowed me to he allowed me to come inside, and so I went inside and I I I I didn't have my Bible, you know. I don't go visiting the Bible, I keep the things in my head. And so I said, Let me see your Bible, and I start searching Genesis, Exodus, all about, and I'm turning and he said, You see, you see, you can't find it, it's not there. You false prophet, you have confused my you have confused my people. When I thought he had enough, I just pulled the thing. To Mark. Yes. Chapter 2. Yes. Verses 27 and 28. Boy. I said, read it. Sabbath was made for man. Yes, sir. And not man for the Sabbath. Sure. He froze. The next Sabbath in the river, we baptize him. The senior pastor, yes. she was a woman, and oh, everybody else, the entire yeah. church. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Come on now. Then we went up to the church. The senior pastor and myself, when we got into the building, they had one eye looking at another eye. Mm. Pastor Hunt said, I, I jumped up to pull it, and he said, no, don't touch it. It might have demons. Let's pray. Mm. And so we prayed. And then we took down all the objects and, and the place was dark and we put light in the church. Come on, somebody say amen. 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 That's a true story. That happened. What is the point? The people out there, when they hear the truth of the Sabbath, they will not fight it. It's true. Stop fighting it. Yes. It's not Adventist Sabbath. You might see some, some Adventists not living right. It's not their Sabbath. It is God's Sabbath. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Is anybody here? Yes. Maybe you might see Morgan doing something wrong. It is not Morgan's Sabbath. It is God's Sabbath. Come on, somebody say amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Amen. Yes. God's Sabbath. It's not Clinton Lewis's Sabbath. Or Dermot Booty's Sabbath. No. Sure. Mm. No. Not Leslie Moses' Sabbath. These guys they have no Sabbath. It's not Tony Mapp Sabbath. Is anybody listening to me? Yes, sir. Yes. It's not Exton Clark Sabbath. It's not Kern Tobias' Sabbath. It's God's Sabbath. God's Sabbath. Yes. It's not Carson Green's Sabbath. Mm. Desmond James is not your Sabbath. No. It's God's Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Not to God. Yes. Mr. Francis, President, is not yours either. No way, preacher. It's God's Sabbath. Yeah. So when you keep the Sabbath, you're honoring God. Yes. You're honoring his creation and you're honoring his redemption. Yes. And may God bless you as you make that decision. You, eh? you can't lose, man. I made it some 37 years ago, man. God has blessed me. Could you believe it? Vincentians? Old time rum drinker, Calypsonian, marijuana smoker, a gambler. It's not a Sabbath keeper. Amen. I used yeah. to go over by the port and gamble as a little boy. And when you're young, you're lucky. Remember once we sat around a table, two men, two men and myself. We used to play deuce brag. I guess some Vincentians hearing me here. And a guy, he said, 500. Huh? I said, 500 and 400 more. Took out his knife and slammed it on the table. Hmm? Then he came up with his three kings. But I had three deuces. <laughs> All is mine. I guess you heard the story. But a woman came to gamble. A who? A woman. A who? A woman. And the first thing she did. Have mercy. All her mammary glands were out. Yeah. That night I lost every cent. Have mercy. <laughs> but thank God for grace. Come Amen. on, somebody say. I said, thank God for grace, man. Amen. Yeah,
I pray God tonight that you'll go all the way. All the way. Yes. I will follow to my Savior. Wheresoever my Lord may be. Where thou goest, I will follow. Yes, my Lord. I'll follow thee. Get ready. I will follow thee, my Savior. Thou the shed for me. Get ready for this song. Oh, don't wait. Get somebody. Get baptized this week. Thy grace, I'll follow thee. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just wonderful. You know what's reassuring to me, Pastor Jamil? Simply this. And the truth will give you perfect rest. Amen. And I saw what you did there. Sabbath rest is perfect rest. Pastor Blackman, we've had a lot of facts, scriptures, and historical records revealed to us today. And it can be a bit overwhelming to know Sunday worship is just another thing we as mankind set up with our own reasoning. Quite so. It is definitely no time for, for each of us present today to review the information shared go through it and decide if we will follow man or follow the creator of man. So true. And I pray that we and you, the viewers, choose and keep choosing Jesus and his Sabbath gift to us. Now, as we have come to the end of our program, I encourage you to register with our registration link and send your requests through the prayer link. Don't forget to tune in next time. We want to continue to deepen our trust in God and strengthen our fellowship as we are given a new look at an old parable. Wow, I am always up for a new perspective. Well, until next time, God willing, Goodbye, everyone.